What is going on, everybody? Good evening. It's a little bit later than I usually post a video, but sometimes things happen late in the day. And when things happen late in the day, you, you got to just jump on it when it happens. Uh, this is pretty significant as well. You might even go so far as to call this breaking news. The Seattle Seahawks have made a signing that is probably going to have some impact on the upcoming 2024 draft and will probably impact the 2024 season. They have signed veteran guard, and by guard I mean left guard because that's where he plays 99% of the time, Lakin Tomlinson. He has signed to a one-year deal, former Jet, former 49er, former Detroit Lion. Now he finds himself in Seattle on a one-year deal. This is per Tom Pelissaro. Saw it from a couple other sources as well. It's pretty well locked in. So Lakin Tomlinson comes in to add some... I want to say depth, but for all we know, he could easily end up being a starter on this interior offensive line. So, welcome in, Lakin Tomlinson. Let's take a look at some information concerning this guy. Um, we, we know that we were kicking the tires on him. He was in for a visit, I want to say, a week and a half ago. Uh, we know we were looking at him. We, we knew that the team wanted to bring in more interior offensive linemen and that Tomlinson was at the top of the list, so we were able to get this done. Um, it is a one-year deal for as much as, potentially, $4 million. He might get the $4 million, he might not, he might get less, but it's as much as $4 million. As for the impact of this deal on the salary cap, that depends on what the conditionals are. But like I've said before, I think the Seahawks are going to have to punch in another move of some kind to clear a little bit of cap space before we get to the actual season. They don't have to do it now. They've still got to get through the offseason first. They don't have to be under the cap until shortly before the season starts, I think. But um, I do anticipate some kind of a move being made, probably just a simple restructuring or a void year, but something is going to get done, I think. So one year up to $4 million, And one nice thing about this is that he was released by the Jets before free agency started. And when you sign a player that was released from their previous contract, it has no impact on compensatory picks. So this pickup does not affect the extra picks that we're in line to get in 2025. So no impact there, which is a big bonus. It would have been really unfortunate if a signing like this cost us a compensatory pick. So I'm excited about that part of it. But... That's all just kind of the money and the contract stuff. Let's talk about the player now. So, Lakin Tomlinson has been in this league for a while now. He's uh, just turned 32. He's, like I said, been on three different teams in his career. He's made one Pro Bowl. It was actually just a few years ago, 2021. He's a former first-round pick, so he's got some pedigree here. And the thing that really stands out about him in the positive would probably be his durability. He plays over a thousand snaps pretty much every year. He does not get hurt. He does not miss time. He is always grinding out there. And even in recent years, that's kind of defined him pretty well. He is getting older. Eventually, that's not going to be holding up. But he is most certainly a player that puts on his uniform and goes out there and plays for you every single game. So that's good. Not so good would be his play recently. All players fall off as they get older. All players start to slip a little bit. And Lakin Tomlinson has been no exception to that. Sorry if you can hear my dog out there, by the way. But um, last year, he was passable, right? He was worthy of being in the NFL, but it wasn't even really, you wouldn't even really call this average. If you're going by PFF grading, he was not very good last year playing that left guard role. I will say this, that Jets offense is all around pretty awful, right? They have awful quarterback play last year because they had to go to their backups very quickly. Um, their general offensive line has not lived up to potential. Guys like AVT, guys like um, Mekai Becton, not living up to expectations. So those kinds of things, by the way, they also had Nathaniel Hackett as their OC and he didn't do a very good job at all. Those things drag everything else down. So I can understand that a guy like L Lakin Tomlinson 
is probably not going to be able to be the rising tide that uh, raises all buoys, right? He's just one guy. He's just a left guard. And that is worth noting, by the way. He played every single snap at left guard last year. So that is pretty clearly his position. But didn't play all that well. You go back to 2022, the previous year, he also was not that great according to PFF grading, mostly because his run blocking was weak. If you actually take a look at the stats, the offensive line stats, it was actually much better. He only allowed one sack all year compared to seven last year, and he only had one penalty compared to, I want to say, five from 2023, or excuse me, three. Okay, still better, and again, playing every snap at left guard, but still not really anything that's blowing us away, right? And he's only a year older, so I do think that it is fair to say that this is a player who is past his prime and in an ideal world would be depth. But if you need him to start, if that's the situation you find yourself in, it's not terrible. I'm not going to say it's good because I don't think it is, but it's feasible. It's workable. You go back to 2021, and 2021 was so long ago at this point for a football player that I'm not going back to 2021 to try to derive any great meaning from it and tell you, oh, look what he did this year. This is indicative of what he's going to do for the Seahawks. But he was very good all around. And this was the year he was on the Niners. When you're on the Niners, you're playing with much better teammates. You're playing with a much better coach. You're playing with better offensive linemen. It's a lot more reasonable to actually look good when you're playing with competent teammates. And when he was given competent supporting cast, he was a good player. And again, playing every snap at left guard, he's giving you well-balanced all-around play. You, uh, you go back to the COVID year, it was good too. Um, pass blocking took a little bit of a dip, but you can still see that like the actual pass rush numbers, the or excuse me, the pass blocking numbers are relatively clean, playing almost entirely at left guard. And I don't want to go back much further than 2019, but here's another year where he was, you know, passable at least. And the point I'm trying to make here is that there was a clear decline in his abilities due to age, but we also had a clear decline linked to him going to an offense that was one of the least competent in the league when he was leaving the Niners, one of the most competent offenses in the league. So that's part of it too. So to a certain extent, you get out what you put in. So... Support him right, and maybe he can have a little bit of a bounce back year here. 32 years old is not 37, right? There's a. It's not like we're signing Jason Peters here to play left guard. We're signing Lakin Tomlinson at 32. It's very reasonable to assume that he has a little bit left in the tank here for a one-year one year deal. So it seems fine to me. This was one of the best things that we could have done at this point. Um, the ultimate goal here is to create freedom to go BPA in the draft. And at this point, if you believe in Lakin Tomlinson, which I know some people will, some people won't, but if you believe in him as a starting caliber player, even a low end starter, you've kind of done that. You've more or less done that. So hopefully we can do better in the draft. Hopefully we can get somebody who's got a little more mobility because a 32-year-old is going to be hard-pressed to do the stuff you want in his own scheme. That's also another factor here. He is a little bit on the heavier side as well. He's not exactly a uh, tremendous mover, I would say. But I, I do think that it's a necessary signing to give us peace of mind going into this draft. So let me know what you think down below. I'm going to get out of here. Go Hawks. More videos coming tomorrow. Might be on Twitch tonight. Might not. We'll see. But... Uh, Lakin Tomlinson, welcome to Seattle.